Okay, my name is Clive Sherwood. I'm a memorial letter cutter and I supply headstones and engraves goods. I managed to get the lease of this shop in 2010, so I've been here about nine years. Before I got my shop, I used to work in a little workshop over at Orr. And before that, I worked for a local funeral director for something like 20 years. You don't actually need many qualifications. I do have an MVQ in memorial fixing but most of the job is actually learning by doing so it's experience really rather than qualifications you just need to be able to fix memorials in a churchyard or cemetery you tend to pick up a lot of other information with stonework because it impinges on so many different trades so with stonework if you're doing building work then some carpentry work or knowledge of joints or heraldry or, or glazing for stained glass windows. You tend to pick up a little bit of history as well because you're doing plaques for historic subjects. So it's quite a large interesting area, it's not just stone work. I've got some I've got some very old tools that I use. A lot of letter cutters use a what they call a dummy, which is a sort of spherical cone shaped hammer but I tend to use a, club, a small club hammer and tungsten chip chisels most of the tools I've got are straight edged uh, and you can do all sorts of letters with straight edged chisels the biggest headstone I've ever done is a Portland limestone uh, and it was in a local churchyard and it measured something like 48 inches by 33 inches and 6 inches thick probably weighed near half a ton in weight. I don't get a lot of spare time but I do have several interests that I like to pursue. Uh, one that I've been doing since I was about seven is I run a scout troop or help to run a scout troop. That's always nice to see the light shine in their eyes when they suddenly understand something that you've been trying to prattle on about for a while. Uh, but I play music as well and try to write stuff too. I try and play two different instruments. The one that I'm most proficient in is harmonicas. And the one that I've just started or oh, about four years ago was guitar. And harmonicas are a lot harder to learn the basics of than guitar. Uh, but harmonicas are underestimated so people think they're easy to to use because they're small but there's a lot of techniques that take years and years of practice before you get any good one. There's a theory about stonemasons and music. When you're hitting stones, it actually rings and you can pick up different pitches. So over time, maybe my ears have become attuned to different pitches of the stone. Um, and it was a while before I suddenly realized I actually wanted to play an instrument as well. So I didn't start playing until I was about 35. And I picked a, an instrument that looks easy to do, but isn't but once you get through a certain number of hours of practice and a certain proficiency then it becomes a joy before that it's a chore and that's the problem with most instruments is people aren't prepared to keep plugging away at it you've got to be determined and have the right mindset as well so if you can get over that initial period then it becomes a lot easier and more pleasant to do it and you never stop learning you never stop learning at stonemasonry either. Always something else to learn, a different technique 
or different lettering style to try and get your head around and carve better than you've carved it before. The best bit about my job is meeting interesting people. You get all sorts of people coming through the door. You never know what you're going to get from one day to another. I like Favisham a lot. I was born here. It's part of me. I can't ever see myself moving away. But it is changing. And there are changes that you have to adjust to. Some you might not like. But Favisham's got its own little character. And it's got nice people in it.